Agile portfolio management is all about creating a balanced portfolio and between different types of projects or, 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 or features or epics or how you call them, uh, whether it's maintenance or innovation. But how to do this is really up to you because you decide where to put your efforts. It's you decide where to put your money, where to invest your capacity. Operationalizing this can be done by putting that responsibility to the decision maker. And in the end, a portfolio, there's a decision being made and you put the responsibility there. Another alternative is that you would say, well, we make a kind of budgets. Uh, capacity budgets that we spend, for example, at least 20% of our capacity on innovation, or we will spend uh, maximum 30% of our capacity or money on maintenance. But it's really up to you. You can put these thresholds in your portfolio management process. Another alternative is to put it into the formula. Uh, most organizations use a formula to quantify the ordering of portfolio. For example, using weight as short as job first. And also over there, that formula, you can uh, create a balance in the different type of projects or, or epics in your portfolio. Uh, the final thing that I would like to uh, recommend to you is to create a funnel. Uh, in the book, in one of the cases, we show such a funnel. I make a funnel where you visualize the balance. For example, with colors. But make sure that every period, valuable stuff comes out of your portfolio, but also out of your funnel, but also innovative stuff. But it's really up to you. Portfolio management will not make the ordering. That's what you have to do. So make sure that your portfolio management and decision process includes the balancing according to these lines.